Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Siobhan and I make videos about medicine in university. If you like my content and if you like my videos, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So today's video is going to be about the UCAT or the University Clinical Aptitude Test. This is one of two entrance exams for medicine in the UK, the other one being the BMAT. The UCAT is more widely used by, it's used by the majority of UK universities, whereas the BMAT is used for only a select few universities, around six or seven. Now, depending on which universities you want to apply to, you want to decide which entrance exam you're taking, either one of them or both. Now, as it says in the name, the UCAT is an aptitude test. It basically tests your reasoning skills and it has a section that tests your ethical knowledge. This greatly affects the way you want to approach your preparation for the test. As it's an aptitude test, I don't think it would really benefit you if I sat here and explained to you how to answer the questions. You could probably gain a better understanding of that by trying a few questions yourself or by reading a book about the UCAT. However, something I could definitely help with is giving you recommendations for how you should approach your preparation, explaining what worked for me and what didn't work for me when I took the test myself. Now let me start by explaining the scoring structure of the UCAT. It's scored out of 3,600 and that includes four sections that are scored out of 900 each and these sections are verbal reasoning, decision making, quantitative reasoning and abstract reasoning. There's a fifth section known as the situational judgment test and this is the section that tests your ethical knowledge. Here you're scored in bands, the best band you can score being band one and the lowest band you can score being band four. The average score on the UCAT is around 2,480 out of 3,600 and I think the minimum you should be looking to get if you're taking the test is 2,600 if you want a chance of getting an interview call from a university. The ideal score or a good score would be something that's 2,800 and above. Tell you a bit about how I did in the, UK, uh, in the UCAT so you can uh, get a frame of reference for the tips I'm giving you. Uh, I got, as it says in the title, I got in the 97th percentile and my total score was 2,970 out of 3,600. Um, my section wise breakup was uh, 630 in verbal reasoning, 640 in decision making, 830 in quantitative reasoning and 870 in abstract reasoning. I also scored band 2 in the situational judgment test. So my UCAT overall put me in a very good position to apply for medical school. It's a lot for this test because practice is the best preparation for an aptitude test. Because there's not much learning to do, the content of the test is actually quite basic. It's about being able to do it fast and being able to do it efficiently. And uh, the second tip would be to understand the nuances of the test. Uh, some sections will be, although they're quite basic, they'll be quite new to you. So there'll be little things that you'll understand or that you'll get used to as you do the test and those will actually greatly benefit you. Little things can make a big difference in this test, especially because it's so time constrained. The third tip is that you should do space preparation. The nature of the UCAT lends itself to Bet better results from preparation that's spread through months versus a lot of preparation that's crammed into two weeks because when you do a little by little every day for a long time you'll spend more than the time you're actively doing the test actually thinking about the questions thinking about your approach to the questions and basically developing those same skills and you'll definitely see a better result if you approach preparation in this way the first step to preparation would be introducing yourself and familiarizing yourself with the test. So you want to begin with preparation that's not timed, doing untimed sessions of practice. 
uh, you probably want to do this through question banks and not through entire tests and you want to definitely be, try each type of question from each section and you want to try a sufficient amount of them as well. After you spend this time familiarizing yourself with counter in practice, you should definitely do one to two diagnostic tests to place yourself after this period of introduction or familiarization. I'd say the best resource to use here is the ISC Medical 1250 Questions for the UCAT book. So this is the book. Uh, this is a really great resource. It explains how to answer each question and it has detailed explanations for the answers of all the questions in the book. And as it says in the name, it has 1250 questions. It has one diagnostic test as well and you could probably try the other one from the official UCAT website. So the next step is your practice period where you'll be doing the bulk of your practice which is the time in between uh, the time in between when you introduce yourself to the test to the time just before you actually give the test. And now you want to cram this time with a lot of time in practice. Now you do a lot of time practice and here you identify your weak spots and you work on your weak spots by doing untimed practice in for those particular sections where you're weak or the type of question where you're not scoring very well. Then you want to move up from doing time practice section wise to doing whole time tests, the whole tests before you sit the exam. Uh, I think you can see the steepest upward graph on quantitative reasoning and abstract reasoning. So if those are weak or if those are already strong, you should definitely want to focus on those to make them higher or even higher. And that will really uplift your total score. Uh, whereas decision making and uh, verbal reasoning are hard to really change. The score stays quite stable. So you want to be able to maintain a good score and you want to see some improvement there but you definitely want to focus on improving the most in quantitative reasoning and abstract reasoning but this could vary from situation to situation and throughout this time definitely make note of uh, things you notice throughout the test guessing methods or uh, or just generally uh, other nuances of the test that you notice you uh, definitely want to get accustomed to using the calculator on the test as well, the online calculator because you don't actually get a calculator in hand, you have to use the one on the computer as the UCAT is computerized. Great tip to help with situational judgment is actually reading the GMC's guidelines on uh, good medical practice. This is something that will definitely help you because here you actually know the rules that you have to use to answer the question and you want to pair that with again a lot of practice of different scenarios from situational judgment. Now one to two weeks before the exam you want to be doing very intense preparation. You definitely can't miss any days where you don't do anything. You want to be doing at least one whole paper a day and you probably want to pair that along with some section wise practice from question banks. So definitely want to uh, do Medify, I'd say you should do Medify mocks or and uh, the official UCAT mocks side by side. Now, I think Medify is quite realistic, but it's on the easier side. The official UCAT, it's always safe to do that because it's very, very difficult. And if you manage to do well in that, or if you're doing fine in that one, then you will definitely be fine in the test and you will definitely learn something from doing it. And I'd say do them both simultaneously because the, uh, because the UCAT, official UCAT mocks can be quite disheartening because they're very, very difficult. Whereas Medify will uplift you, you'll see a good score and that's probably what you should feel good about. You shouldn't feel bad about doing bad in the official UCAT mocks. And that's the two resources I definitely recommend for this stage. 
uh, Medify and the official recap mocks. That's definitely what you should be using towards the end and right before your exam. So, and lastly, I'll give you some tips for uh, exam day. Now, you don't want to do any studying or any practice 24 hours before the exam. You want to keep your mind fresh, you don't want it to be clogged, you don't want to be stressed. Just use those 24 hours to calm down. Don't stress a lot, don't think too much about the test because now you've done everything you can do and you're going to be fine. They, the test is not that hard. They don't make the test in a way that everyone's going to fail it. Most people do well on the test. So you will be fine going into the test. Don't get too stressed. You want to get a full night's sleep. You want to be well rested because you have to be very alert for a test that requires a lot of speed and it requires a lot of alertness. You should know that uh, verbal reasoning is always the hardest section on the test because uh, one, the level of difficulty is slightly higher than anything that's available on the internet. Uh, and uh, it's similar to the official UCAT marks. And also, it's the first section, so you're not as warmed up as you'll be for the rest of the sections. So just try and calm down and do that one as well as you can. Uh, and you should also definitely visit the exam center a day before the exam because that will get you familiarized with the environment where you're giving the exam and you, there won't be any stress of finding the place when you go on the, day of the exam because you want that day to be as easy as it can be. You don't want to hit any bumps along the way that might stress you out. You want to be as focused as you can be, you want to be functioning at your maximum capacity. Also, all the resources that I mentioned in this video and that I recommend using will be linked down below in the description. So that's the video and uh, I hope you found it helpful. I hope you understood more about how to approach your preparation for the UCAT. And uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button. Bye.